Hey there guys, this is Jamaican Baker from Twitch Alerts and today I'm going to show you how to set up the OBS Studio or multi-platform versions browser plugin source. So to get started you're going to want to close OBS. This will make it so you can actually install a plugin. Then head over to this page which I will link in the description. This is so you can download the zip file. So you're going to want to get the version for your operating system. In this case, I'm using Windows, so I'll get the Windows copy. I already have it downloaded to my desktop. It will be in a zip file, so make sure you have something like 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever one will work. And then you're going to want to open it. So here we have a folder. So now you're going to want to go to your PC local disk, so click this PC. Go to local disk and go to program files x86. Now scroll down till you find the OBS studio folder and this is where we want to extract the files. So you can just highlight the folder here in the zip program and extract it over. Now in my case I already have some of the files so I can skip but if it asks you just click replace. Now you can close these out. Now open back up your OBS. So now if you click the plus to add a source, you'll see you now have browser source. So now you can add a browser source. You can name it whatever you want to. And here it will ask you for a link. So now open up your Twitch Alerts dashboard. And here you're going to want to copy this link at the top of the page. Here I'm going to be copying the alert box widget. It will also work for any of the other widgets. And then paste it into the URL section. You can change the size here, as well as the FPS it uses. And then once you're ready, click OK. Now you will have a blank source in here. The source is not filled until an alert actually goes off. So over here you can press test alert or whatever alert you're wanting to test. And you'll see it will scroll down. You can also do it for your follow and any other ones. And if you want to make any adjustments, you can make them on the page and they will instantly update. You don't have to worry about copying the link again. And that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Or you can also click the community button here and head over to the forums and leave any questions there. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Have a great day.